What's up, y'all? Sparty here. So for this video, what I want to do is I want to compare night shots between the uh, iPhone 12 Pro Max and the LG V60. Now, as, obviously, that's what the folder says, 12 p.m., which is 12 Pro Max, and V60, which is V60. So I'll tell you guys which photo is which, and I'll tell you what which phone is better at, what phone does better at certain things what what which phone does worse at other things and stuff like that but overall the entire thing that apple brought up or what a lot of not even just not even apple but a lot of tech reviewers brought up in particular is that the iphone just destroys the competition and stuff like that right and what i want to show you guys is that's not necessarily the case and there are certain things where what the iPhone does is that it tends to post-process photos to hell to make it seem as if it does a better job than a lot of other phones. But let me show you guys exactly what I mean. So what you guys will tend to see is that the darker photo is the tw is the iPhone photo, whereas the brighter photo is the V60 photo. Now, it's a, now the iPhone has a 12 megapixel sensor, but it's a larger sensor than say the 12 pro max it's a little bit ever so slightly smaller than like the 12 megapixel sensor on your s20 fe or your galaxy s20 but it's just it's just basically there to take in more light so that you could take better low light photos and have better auto focusing in low light so let's talk about this so this is the iphone photo right now here's the thing i don't necessarily think this is a bad photo i think this is really nice but what what you'll definitely start to see is that there's a little bit of artifacting right here right all across the top here right above by the you know the shitty looking moon and both phones don't really produce the moon all that well so i'm not just crapping on the iphone here but yeah it's a decent photo i think if i were to use it i would definitely i would use it if i wanted to but it doesn't look horrendous right then you go to the v60 here now the v60 the main issue that you can see is that the lens flare right the iPhone definitely has not great lens flaring, but the V60 has this like more radial type thing and it has the line streak through it. Now, the problem that I tend to have with the V60 is that um, <laughs> every time I take it out of my pocket, my camera lens gets smudged, which is really funny. I have this really thick case on it and it really doesn't make sense that that happens, but it's whatever. It's fine. It's not that big of a deal. So the V60 definitely does better with the moon, I feel. There is definitely more grain, but it's not grainy to the point where you lose a lot of detail, right? Whereas the iPhone, um, as you guys can see, there's definitely, it's definitely darker in the parts where it would be darker. But the V60 definitely brings in more light. And both represent the scene well. This is about as, in terms of white balance and color temperature, this is pretty much how this um, bridge looks at night. So this is not necessarily a bad thing at all. So both do a really good job there. What I definitely noticed is that the V60 tends to err on the side of how Apple, you know, processes certain things in terms of color temperature and stuff like that. They don't really oversaturate all that much unless you have your AI mode on and you're like aiming your camera at a flower or something like that. But in terms of like this scene in particular, both do a really good job. Both look really good. Don't really have a problem with that. Now to go over here, as you guys can see, the V60 has, you know, these lens flares right here and stuff like that, which personally I don't care. The entire point of this video really is to show you guys how much more light the v60 brings into a photo right these trees don't look terrible at all they look pretty detailed they look nice the the mm -hmm. sign right here um for the uh, carpentry place looks decent you can't read it out but i wasn't really expecting to read it out so that's fine the iphone um you can't really see any details in the trees as you guys can see it's artifacting quite a bit 
everywhere right above the street lights and stuff like that it definitely does better with the street lights and you can see a little bit more like say the steam right here whereas on the v60 if if it'll load uh i can't really find it <laughs> it, it maybe the steam wasn't coming up at the time that's kind of what i thought was happening but it's not there whereas on the iphone it is not that big of a deal but it's something i indeed wanted to bring up but like i said they both do a really good job at keeping the color temperature properly as you guys can see like stuff like this where you can kind of read what that sign says and the lights aren't super overexposed and you can read uh it says Phelan Boulevard right there, whereas on here on the iPhone, you base you, you can't really make out what that sign says right there on the bottom there, and you can barely make out that it says Phelan Boulevard right there, so there's more detail there. Then I took a picture of this. As you guys can see, there's a, there's a light streak on the V60 here. Not terrible. It's just something that you guys definitely will see a little bit more of. You guys can see there's a little bit of steam right there. Again, it exposes the lights decently well. I don't necessarily think the exposure on these lights are bad. Um, the trees, you can definitely make out very well. Um, you can't really see that it says Wells Fargo on this on this light right here. But you can't really see it on the iPhone either. <laughs> so that's not necessarily a big deal. I will say, in terms of like a night shot photo which one I would definitely use more. I would use the iPhones more, mainly because it's not nearly as grainy, it's not nearly as noisy. But in terms of like taking in a lot of information, I definitely would say the V60 does a better job, right? Now, this is where, this, this is where I feel the V60 shines even more. It brings in more information and it could give you... It could give you a way into finding out, you know, and seeing a lot of stuff that the iPhone just won't do. It just can't do all that. Well, obviously, like I said, the lens flares on the lights aren't that great. But you look at the sign here, it says dead end. You can see it says dead end. You can see here that it says Mississippi. Um, you can see that says Apex, Auto, whatever blocks. Apex, Auto, how many ever blocks. Um, Guys, he says Mississippi Street right here. Left. I'm pretty sure the. I'm. I think the iPhone still says that. Speed limit thirty. Now let's go to the iPhone picture. You could barely see that. It's, you could barely see that it says dead end. You basically can't read out Mississippi. Um, Apex, you can definitely read, but the rest of it is kind of jarbly. You cannot see at all that it says speed limit thirty. <laughs> You can still see the left turn yield on flashing yellow arrow. Now let's go back here and see how much clearer it is on the V6. It's way clearer on the V60 than it is on the iPhone. And just so you guys don't think that I'm, that I'm showing the wrong pictures, let me show you guys actually. So iPhone 12 Pro Max. LG V60. So this isn't me just switching the photos and telling you guys that it's not the right phone when it is um this arizona bottle both of them did a really good job with this this hasn't really this wasn't really that bad but oh dang i forgot one photo i'll uh i'll get to it in a second actually but yeah, the Arizona bottle right here, where, it's, where you can see it says Fruit Punch. You can see it very well on the V60 here. The iPhone, definitely you can see it, but there's, there's, a little less, there's a little less clarity, right? Whereas the V60 is a little bit more clear. This is not really necessary. This isn't necessarily something that I thought was that big of a deal. Um, it's not really... I don't even know why I included this photo, honestly. Um, but this is one that I also want to bring up. You guys can see here on the iPhone, you can see University Avenue quite well. It doesn't really look all that bad. Um, you can see, you know, all the indications about where to go for what, how many miles and all that stuff. You can see Mississippi Street well, um, but what you can't see, 
is left turn lane right there. You can't really see that. Everything else is fine. I don't necessarily have a problem with how it handles the rest of it. The V60, however, um, you can see University Avenue a little bit better. Missis Mississippi and all that stuff as well. Left turn lane, you can see way better. Um, and everything else looks pretty much the same. Both of these, actually, I would use. I feel the iPhone um, is a little bit blurry right here. As you guys can see, there's a little less detail when you zoom in. Whereas on the V60, it's not nearly as, like, soft. So that's definitely a win for the V60. This is where I actually... Um, this is where I actually saw a whole bunch of stuff that was way better on the V60 compared to the iPhone. So this is the iPhone picture. And as you guys can see, you can read that pretty well, actually. Let me just double check and make sure that it's the iPhone. Okay. So as you guys can see, you can read that pretty well. That's nice. I don't necessarily have a problem with that. You can... Both of them get kind of smudgy in this upper part here, right above the cat's head, right, in the, on the painting. This is kind of a creepy creepy mural to see at night. But what you guys can see right here is that the veterinary center, and you can barely read what this says. <laughs> and you can barely read that it says Animal Humane Society right here. Whereas on the V60, sure, you get this streak across, but... That's way more clear, the visitor parking only. There's a little bit of like graininess and smudginess right there, but you can definitely see that stuff way better. Um, and then here, you can read it says Animal Humane Society. Veterinary Center, Pet Training and Community Programs, you can read all that just fine. Now the difference is that say you want to look in the background right here, this is a little bit better exposed than it is on the V60. It's about the same. It's about the same. Now, here's where you'll definitely see it. On the V60, clearly you can see there's a little bit of sky gradients right there. That's not necessarily terrible, but it's something that it's fine if you want more information to come on the photo, right? Say you could actually read this, the source, right? Whereas on here, on the iPhone... It's way darker. <laughs> it may look, it, it looks like I would use either photo to be honest, but there's just way less information. You could barely read that this is the source down there. You could barely see the statue, whereas on the V60, you could actually see the statue and you can see the skyline. And it looks overall better. This is where you'll see quite a bit of what I feel the where the V60 shines in terms of like nighttime photos. So this is the this is the iPhone, right? I'll zoom in here. I'll let you guys take in a lot of stuff. As you guys can see, there's obviously some gradients right there. And if you guys can see, there's a whole bunch of lens dots. <laughs> there's a whole bunch of lens dots. And both of both phones show this sign pretty well. But let me go over here. Now, what do you guys see different? You can see the sky. The Wells Fargo logo is way more legible. There's way less noise around the N4 logo. No lens dots. None. Or if there are any, they're like not that visible. This sign is definitely more legible. Um, one way you can see better. Uh, they're both good. They're both re they're both really good. You can barely read the landmark center sign on the trash, whereas on the V sixty, you can read it better. Um, everything else is pretty much. I don't think either phone could get that Kincaid sign that well. The V sixty definitely does better. Yeah, the V60 does better in that regard, but it's not really that big of a deal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these last two photos, and I'm going to show you guys what, which one does better in this particular instance with this particular night shot. Okay, so let me review these last two pictures here. So 
I believe this is the iPhone. Yeah, this is the iPhone. Um, and as you guys can see, the photo is exposed very well. I don't necessarily have a problem with how this looks, but the beauty is in the details, right? You guys can see that the bell on the little sewer grate is a little bit blurry. Um, the U.S. West uh, communications, you know, <laughs> that is, you can read it, but it's not nearly as legible, right? Whereas you go here, and you guys can see there's always more light coming in, right? And I think both do a very good job. I th I feel like there's a little bit of sharpening on the iPhone, but it's not terrible, right? Whereas the V60, I could read it ever so slightly more, and it looks exactly how it does. Whereas the iPhone, you zoom in like all the way here, it looks a bit eh. But both do a really good job. Now, actually, I think I prefer the iPhone picture a tad more on this one. I think the V60 overexposed. So that's most likely the reason why. But either way, I would use either photo. Um, I don't necessarily think this is... Yeah, in terms of these two, I would definitely use the iPhone a bit more. It didn't it didn't expose it a little it didn't expose it that badly. I think I also have another picture, another version of that picture. That might be because I wasn't holding the phone steady. Let me look real quick. Okay, so no, in that one in, in this one instance, the iPhone actually did better. Um and I'm fine with admitting that, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing. I don't think it's necessarily like 20 times clearer or anything like that. But I guess it depends on what you want in the photo, right? I think both do a really good job. There's definitely more light in this photo. But I feel like this is a bit more pleasing to the eye, definitely, on the iPhone. I would use, like, when it comes down to it, when it comes to all these photos, I would use either of any of these photos. It's not necessarily which one is the bestest and which one stumps the other or anything like that. It's more which phone does better with obtain, getting, receiving and retaining more information in the photo that will give you that that just gives you i guess a bit more of an advantage and what i de what i definitely see here in turn in particular is when i looked at these two photos here is that the iphone just did not do all that well like the wells fargo logo is noisy as all hell and you can barely read fargo you pretty much just have to use context clues the in for logo is super noisy and it, it, it's, uh, whereas on here, on the V60, you can read out Wells Fargo. And the N4 logo ain't nearly as bad. Like, it's not even all that bad. Every every single letter is clear. There's no issue there. And as you guys see with a lot of consistency, the V60 tends to have way more information in the photo. Like, the library is signed. You could barely read what it says on there. I doubt you could read what it says on here. You could kind of read what it says on the V60. I could read literature. Um, maybe culture. I don't I don't know. Um, it's funny because they were supposed to close this library and they never did. Probably because it's a historical site pretty much now. Um, but yeah, this is just to show you guys that the V60, or better yet, the iPhone is not stomping everything on the market. You could just not listen to all these reviewers that constantly say that the iPhone 12 Pro Max definitely lives up to the hype. It stumps everything in the competition. No, it really doesn't when it comes to low light photos. The V60 definitely brings in more light, and the problem is they tend to compare it to the note 20 ultra just because it has a huge megapixel count and that's pretty much it <laughs> um 
the V60 also has a big camera sensor at 64 megapixels, but I feel the low light performance on the V60 is very consistent. It gets it gives me what I want. It's satisfying. The iPhone is definitely satisfying too, but it's more. Say I want to say you want to tell somebody where you're at, right? And you take a picture. You'll get way more information on the V60 compared to the i the 12 Pro Max. And this isn't to say that the iPhone is terrible for low light shots. Obviously, if you use the night mode, you'll definitely get that. But in terms of not using night mode and just using the the base camera performance with whatever processing Apple or LG decides to put on, you can definitely see that the V60 does a better job. And that's all I really want to say. This is Sparta. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for support. Hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday or whatever time of day it is in the area. Have a good one.